Hey guys, it's been quite a while since I did a video on any repairs or modifications to the Wells Index milling machine. And uh, I actually have a job I've got to work on uh, today and I'm going to use the mill quite a bit. And I have been putting this off for the longest time. Uh, what I'm going to do today in this video is I am going to repair the Bijour hand operated lubricating system on this machine. Uh, it's mounted down here, I'll show you in a moment. And uh, when I bought the machine, the reservoir had a big chunk taken out of it. It must have got hit and, and broken. And so I have just been squirting oil on the ways, which is not a good idea because this oiling system is doing a lot more than just taking care of the ways. Uh, the distribution piping system actually goes to places like the uh, the nuts that are underneath the X and Y axis keeps those lubricated uh, and also the ways for the knee the saddle and the table so this is going to be a quick and easy repair should be a pretty short video probably the most valuable information I'm going to give you in this video is the correct part number to order to get this Bijour uh, kit so here is my Bijour hand oiler, and uh, it's the pump and reservoir is an assembly. And as you can see, we get a big problem. So uh, I actually have a complete good used one of these that came on a uh, donor mill that I bought for parts. Um, but I decided to just buy a brand new reservoir for this one. That way I can keep that uh, donor unit intact uh, in case I need to you know, decide to sell it off or whatever. So, um, couldn't be easier, four screws on the top and this will drop right off. So my model number is an L5P-R. So I actually ordered this several years ago and never got around to putting it on, which is kind of silly, but um, I ordered it from a place called Foam Pack Inc. in uh, New Jersey. And the funny thing is that Foam Pack is like a trade name for spray foam insulation uh, stuff. Uh, but this particular company in New Jersey is a uh, wholesale industrial supply company. And for whatever reason, I was able to find it back then, and they had the best price. I think it cost me around 35 bucks back then. And it looks like I got this back in 2015, so six years ago. So I just went to check just for the heck of it, and the going rate for this is about 45 48 bucks elsewhere. And this company doesn't seem to even have it on their website any longer. So... If you, um, you know, if you want, you could probably give them a call uh, and check and see if they have them. Area code 856-467-1848. I have no affiliation with this company and they do not pay me anything to say that. As promised, the aforementioned part number. Uh, description is a reservoir assembly and the part number is D3086C-KIT. I don't know for sure, but I think if you just tried to get that without the dash kit, I think you just get the plastic housing. And I think the kit just means you're going to get the gasket. And it actually comes with four new screws and four lock washers. Um, just one more thing. The current price uh, Fluid Systems uh, has them for about $36. I don't know how much you're going to get you for shipping. And then uh, MotionSource1.com looks like they're a distributor. For Bijur de Limon. They've got the kit for $31.27. That's probably the best price you're going to find on the net. Okay, I've got the new reservoir mounted and I've topped it off. The um, thing you want to make sure of is do not over tighten those screws. They thread into a metal insert that is uh, molded into the plastic housing. If you over tighten them you run the risk of actually cracking the housing and then you can end up with a leak uh, i've actually filled it up to the max line thereabouts and um, i'll top it off again after i get done priming the system the oil that's in there is this industrial lub lubricating oil 22. Uh, this is actually a gallon that i got with the machine from the previous owner so i've been using that and I may change to something else like a, a Delvac or something like that down the road. But for now, I'm using this. And so it uh, comes out just of one port on the uh, actual oiler. 
and then uh, it goes through a series of T's and special fittings and goes out throughout the machine. Uh, here you can see it's actually lubricating this nut, which, you know, for me to lubricate it, I had to reach under there with an oil can and kind of just squirt it, and that wasn't ideal. This will be much better. So I've actually got the lines on the other side of the saddle disconnected um, just until I prime the system. Well, that's it. A long overdue repair finally completed. Major improvement.